Hey everyone, so um, I know I've been gone for a while, but um, finals are over, and as you can tell, I broke out because I was stressed. But um, I want to show you, my skin's kind of drying out now, but I want to show you a couple of um, different kinds of objects and um, products that have really helped kind of clear out my skin after finals. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit irritated right now because I just was messing with it to apply my moisturizer, but I'm going to show you a couple of products like these two um, that I just received that are um, skin clearing and a new um, concealer. So I want to show you um, how I use them in my routine and um, hopefully they'll be helpful to y'all who have um, acne like me or scarring like me. So stay tuned if you want to learn how. Alright, so I already primed my face with the Mar Badescu Oil-Free Moisturizer. Mine's kind of ragged looking, but just apply that over my face. The next thing I want to do is take this is Clinique's Clarifying Makeup Clear Skin. Um, this is in the color 03 Just Neutral, but it's a really great product. I've been using it for this past week, and um, I've really been liking it. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm actually, um, the first time I apply this, I apply with my hand, but I like using a stippling brush now that I've kind of figured out that I like that better. Okay, so you can see I kind of have a lot of redness right now so because this stuff is kind of drying my skin out a little bit. But it's a good thing because I had a lot of acne. So I'm just going to start covering it up. It kind of tingles a little bit. If you have acne on already, I mean erupted on your skin, it will kind of tingle. So I'm just going to... This one you don't really need to stipple on. You kind of just need to put it on because um, most foundations you do need to stipple on with a stippling brush. But this one, you kind of just need to blend it in. So kind of just make spots every here and there, and then blend in. And it has pretty good coverage. Okay, so that's it with, that's just the foundation, no concealer. This is the coverage of the foundation. So you can tell, you've seen my face before, This I did this, it was pretty red and pretty irritated. And it kind of calmed it down a little bit. Um, the clin most Clinique foundations um, tend to do that. But kind of been lacking the Clinique foundations. Um, my sister and I have been kind of testing them out, but um, she likes the poreless one. Something about minimizing pores, and I like this one for acne. So yeah, check this out if you have acne. Um, it is It has been clearing up my skin, surprisingly. I thought it wouldn't, but it has, because it has that solicitic acid in it. So try that out. Next thing is concealer. Alright, so the thing I've been using, I just found, I just picked this up, not found it, but I already knew about it, but my sister really likes it, so she told me to try this out. This is the MAC um, Select Cover Up, um, this is in the color um, N30. Normally I'm N20, but they didn't have it, but this one actually turned out to be my shade, so this is a little bit perfect for my skin. So I like to just take that on the back of my hand, just like with the foundation, just using the back of my hand as a palette. I just need a really small amount, that's really great texture, it dries pretty quickly though. And then I just take a regular blendy brush. This is just a nice flexible blendy brush. And I just dip that in there. And I just place it onto the areas where I'm going to conceal. So the color, the cool shades cover up redness pretty well. Um, so that's why I got a C shade. The W shades cover up blue, so that's why I put underneath my eyes. I still like the, the, select, the studio, I still like this one though for under my eyes. So I'm just going to blend that out. And this one just adds, this adds like really great coverage to any foundation. And the finish on it is matte, so it's pretty perfect, actually, if you have oily skin like me. I don't know why I never thought of this before. I'm going to put a little bit around my nose. really cools down the redness. Around the mouth, a little bit on the chin, and uh, just you know, blending out is key. So just blend around. Okay, so I'm nice and concealed all over my skin. It's nice and covered. Next, I'm taking Max. Um, this is a great concealer for under your eyes. Mac um, NW25. Um, it's a great shade. W shades are for under your eyes, so if you are going to tr purchase these, I would suggest getting this for under your eyes, the W shade, and this for your face um, in a C shade. So just do this with your ring finger, just placing that right under there, and I like to blend towards my nose, just like that. Because it kind of creates this whole plane of your face to be nice and highlighted. 
it just counteracts all that blue tones underneath your eyes, that warm shade. And it works wonderfully underneath my eyes. Especially because I have this really pronounced vein right here that's blue, and it kind of covers it covers it nicely. So blend out to your nose. Just kind of doing like in a triangle effect. Okay, so look at the difference. See this eye and this eye? This one is with concealer and this one's not. It's, it's amazing. I have really redness and some kind of discoloration. So I'm just gonna do the other eye. Okay, so now that I'm all concealed, everything's covered, my skin is looking flawless, I'm gonna start powdering, setting setting all of this. So I'm just gonna take a regular setting powder. This is from Mary Kay. Um, Make It Forever makes a great one. Um, the matte one. So I'm taking, um, this is from Ben, um, not Benefit, this is from um, Bare Minerals. It's just a, their powder concealer brush. I'm just going to use this for under my eyes, take a little bit of powder on that, just like that. And I'm just going to pat this. I'm actually going to take a little bit more and pat that. And I want I like taking a lot because it helps with fallout. So I'm taking more on this eye. Really powder this up because you want to set this concealer so that it doesn't smudge or crease or anything. So I like that. Nice and powdery. And then now I'm gonna take a big and now I'm gonna take a big poofy brush. This is the same powder I was using all my underneath my eyes. And um, and take that and put that on my face. So I'm just gonna powder that. Make sure when you're setting your powder that you do like you're pressing the powder on and not swirling it around because if you swirl it around especially when you did coverage like this we did this acne covering and scar, scar covering if you move it around it's just going to defeat the whole purpose and take off all of that concealer that you worked hard to achieve so make sure you're patting on the, the loose powder because if you rub it on it's going to just take off all of your concealer so make sure you're patting that's one of my key goals um, people always ask me how I get the powder to stay on and not rub off any of the concealer and it's because I just press it on. You can also use um, one of those press um, puffies. I don't have one right now with me, but um, you can use that. But I like to use a puffy brush because it's easier. And I'm just going to do my bronzer next. This is Max um, Bl Blush in Harmony. You can see that. It's a matte bronzer which I love. Um, taking a big 150 and just going to press push that into my cheekbones here, the outer cheekbones, just to contour a little bit. Take a little bit more. And I like this brush because it's a flat and taper. I don't know, I said that in my last video, but I like it for that. Just pushing it upwards, just so I can have that nice contoured effect. Working it out here, and pushing up, working out here, pushing up. And then you can take a little bit underneath your chin. Do a nice shadow. So now my face is, seems sli slimmer, and then I'm going to do blush. So I'm um, taking my 168, that was a 150, this is a 168. Um, this is actually an eyeshadow from the Coastal Sense palette, 26 color and eyeshadow palette. Um, it's the third one here. It's a great shade, it's like an orangey, peachy color. I normally like this one too, but the blush, they, they come with blushes, but the eyeshadows are really great. So I'm going to take this one on my 168. And it's a really nice um, peachy kind of color. So I'm just going to push that onto the cheek area right here. And it creates this really nice orangey, peaky, pinchy, pinky glow to my, to my cheeks. I really like the way it fades into the bronzer. So I'm just going to do that. Nice and easy. So I'm going to take a little bit of this um, shimmer strip from this, um, I talked about this in my last video, this is a MAC um, skin, skin Finishes, it's um, the, the natural and then the shimmering one, so I'm going to take a little bit of that shimmering part and a little bit of the powder as well, and just kind of just brush that over that part of my cheeks, so it, cuts, it creates a really nice summery glow. And then I'm actually going to start blending out some of my blush because it got kind of crazy, and I like to take the powder on a big kabuki, whoops, like that. And then I kind of put this here and just blend out, if I kind of put a little bit too much blush, I like to blend out the edges, um, just like that with the kabuki. I like to blend outwards because if you blend in or any other way, um, it kind of makes it look a little bit like you're 
gonna look kind of muddy, so just nicely blend out your blush with your powder. Any powder would be great, but this is one of my favorite powders for that. And then actually, actually, I like to um, kind of stripe both of them at the same time, the powder and the um, shimmer, and press that underneath my eye. So it kind of creates this really nice um, shimmering, it really makes my eyes look awake. So it's kind of like using the Benefit Powder Flage. It's basically the same thing. It's like powder and shimmer. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great summer, guys. I'm going to do some more videos. I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial right now. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll list all the products in the, in the description bar or whatever. Bye.